Hey guys, it's Jordy Bills back on another video. Today we picked up this 36 volt 1000 watt electric scooter off Facebook Marketplace. I know the batteries are bad, so today we're going to go over how to swap the lead acid 36 volt batteries to a 48 volt lithium battery. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so a little bit about the scooter first. This is a Super Turbo 1000 Elite. It comes stock 36 volts. Also comes stock with front and rear disc brakes as well as front and rear suspension. And you can see our 1000 watt motor there. So this seat comes off and then there is our three 12 volt lead acid batteries underneath there. So let's get to those and get them out. All right guys, so to take this seat off, you literally just lift straight up. You might have to wiggle a little bit, but it comes right out. And then our battery tray just lifts right up. And then you can see our bag with our three 12 volt lead acid batteries in it. So here's our plug. Let's go ahead and take that out. And now we're out to get the controller out and swap our connector on there for our 48 volt lithium battery. All right guys, we just got the hardware out. It was a 5 16 nut with a Phillips screw on both sides of the controller. So now we can take our controller out and we see all of our wires, battery wires, motor wires. Uh, this looks like our throttle and electric lock and some of our brake and headlight wires. So let's go ahead and get these all unplugged, get the controller out so we can put our new battery connector on it, and then we'll be able to use our 48 volt lithium battery. So let's get it done. All right guys, we got this XT90 soldered on the controller. You can see it matches our XT90 on our battery. So we can just plug it in right here. So as far as our battery, we're good to go. Now we just gotta get the rest of this plugged in, then we're going to adjust the brakes, and then we'll be ready for our first test ride. All right guys, to adjust these disc brakes, we're gonna take a five millimeter Allen and loosen the bolt that holds the cable down. So we're pretty much gonna loosen this, pull the cable tighter, and that will thus put more tension on the brakes when you squeeze the handle. Yep, so they're super tight. Let's go to the front. Oh, yeah. Get ready for our test drive. All right, guys, we're going on the test ride for the Super Turbo 1000 on 48 volt. This is going to be our top speed run since we're on a fully charged battery. Let's do it. So I really like how this scooter rides. It's pretty smooth. So that should have been our top speed right there as long as the GPS is uh, close to accurate and working. It may not be working, the GoPro GPS is always goofy. All right, I'm hoping the scooter isn't too loud for you guys, but I really like the smoothness of this scooter. It's uh, quite agile. You can move around on it pretty easily, which is, I think, what you want on a scooter rather than like an e-bike or a electric dirt bike. So. Like this is going uphill right now, super smooth. You feel a little bit of lag, but not too much. And uh, I just like it a lot. Definitely be perfect for cruising around town, you know, up and down Main Street on the sidewalk, something like that. It stopped pretty quick, but it would be nice if this thing was belt drive just cause it is a little loud, but you can see it does have a big chain here. Not 25H like a lot of dirt bikes. I think that's 35H or maybe even a little bit bigger than that. But I like this thing a lot. I need to get the other mirror for it. This is standing up riding. Just in case you guys are curious. A lot of people do take the seat off. But uh, I prefer to sit down. That was a quick stop. That was a full speed stop pretty much. I'd say you can stop with both brakes adjusted correctly, less than six, eight feet for sure. Let's see. Let's see how nimble she really is here. 
Oh, big rock. That, that was pretty slick. That was pretty smooth. Let's do that one more time. And then that'll be it. Let's see what we got. Break, break, break. All right, let's go around this way. A quick overview again, take the seat off, lift this up, got a little bit of foam. There's our battery, controller's in the stock location. Drop that, put the seat back in. Twist the key once for ready to go, and then the last key, you can see the last turn of the key makes us have our headlight on and our brake light. So this does hold up to 48 volt, which is super cool, as well as the lights on the throttle. I will like to get a voltage meter display on here so I can get a real-time readout of the voltage or possibly just get a voltage throttle. But other than that, I really love the scooter, like I said. And if you guys want to see more videos on it, let me know in the comments. I'm glad we went lithium and upgraded to 48 volt. It really makes this scooter move and really makes it feel alive. I love how nimble the scooter is. You can really move around quick and easy on this thing and get around some tight corners. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video on the Super Turbo 1000 Elite, make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe with the bell notifications on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.